We're a couple of weeks late, but we'll take it. Uh, it's been such a lousy summer, so it's, we're having a nice fall. We are getting rewarded. And also that's been happening is that the frost has been held up. We did get temperatures down in the 30s overnight, but no frost. Not as cold tonight. It's going to be warmer uh, as we continue the warming trend through most of the rest of the week. Uh, Friday, it'll start to cool down in time for the weekend. Mainly dry, no big rain. And even in the weekend, there's been some question about a certain front uh, coming in. So. We're certainly going to be keeping an eye on it. And the overall pattern shows this warm pattern now is uh, really taking over in the midsection of the country. It's going to be moving eastward. So here's the cold pool of air. And one of the reasons why we had the scattered showers uh, Sunday and Monday. But we warm up. And then as we head towards Friday in the weekend, we're going to deal with a cold front. We're going to get two fronts. And both of them should come by, uh, come by very fairly dry. We are going to watch something offshore. A little pressure may try to develop and hence some shower activity in eastern New England. But right now it looks like we're not going to get really much in the way of any significant rain and then it turns much colder as we head towards next weekend and into the following week. Here's the weather map showing fairly tranquil uh, conditions with the exception of northern New England still dealing with that old low pressure system getting some mountain snows up here in Wyoming and this area low pressure is going to continue to spin and move up into Canada will not bother us with any kind of weather other than dragging a cold front uh, through the region. The region for uh, the reason for the wind low pressure to the north and east high pressure to the south and west creating a tight pressure gradient between the two systems causing the west northwest gusty winds today of 20 to 30 miles per hour right now we are in the 60s across the area very nice and comfortable this is a beautiful uh, time of year and certainly that west northwest wind so a clear moonlit sky it's the full hunter's moon now coming up uh, for tomorrow actually it's the official time but we'll take it bright and pleasant for your uh, Wednesday under mostly sunny skies high temperatures look at this getting up into low uh, 70s. We'll do it again on Thursday and we'll be watching a front uh, rolling in as we head towards uh, we'll say Thursday night into early Friday. You could see milder uh, tomorrow morning. Nice day tomorrow and then uh, temperatures in the 50s for Wednesday night into Thursday. And what we're going to watch for Thursday is some high clouds. And then as we move along into Friday morning, about 1 a.m. Thursday night, Friday morning, just a couple of sprinkles. And that's really about it. Here's the Fox 61 seven-day forecast showing you beautiful uh, rest of the week. Maybe a couple of showers on Saturday. And then it turns colder. But this is more in line with what we should have as we head towards the weekend and into next week. Guys, a beautiful week. Enjoy.